Hey guys, so I have here my Gabarit in-wall toilet and today I want to show you how you can adjust the flush volume of this uh, toilet carrier here. And with this dual flush model, we can either select to uh, flush with 1.6 or 0.8 gallons per flush, or we can alternatively use 1.28 or 0.8 gallons per flush. So you can see that we can only adjust the flush volume for the standard flush. The volume for the smaller flush is always 0.8 gallons. Okay, so but now let's get going. So the first step is to remove the actuator plate. And we do that by just pushing the plate upwards just a little bit. And then we can easily remove it. So behind there, there's two more covers. And uh, depending on what model you have, this may look a little bit different. In this case, I have here these uh, blue tabs that I need to push up and down and then rotate the those white tabs. And then I can remove the first cover. And then here we have a second cover. Uh, there's also two tabs on the top that I have to push down and I can remove that really easily. Now here we have the actuators. Uh, this is a really simple assembly that you can just remove really easily. And then in the upper left corner of the tank, that's where the shutoff valve is. We definitely want to close this before we keep going our, with our work here. So we just rotate this clockwise. And then we can also pull the trigger to uh, release all the water from the tank. And now in the background, we have here this gray bracket that is not part of all models. So you may not actually have this, uh, but in this case, I have to remove this. You can kind of spread the top apart and then just take this out. So we are going to remove the entire assembly here that's reaching down to the bottom of the tank. And, uh, but we can only do this piece by piece. So at first we have here these two blue levers and we're going to remove both of those. So the bigger one, the one on the left, we're going to rotate counterclockwise just like by quarter turn and then we can release that. And then for the smaller lever, we're going to lift up the uh, entire assembly here from the bottom. So it's, it's going to be a little bit firm sitting in there. So we have to probably pull on it. And then the lever you're going to tilt sideways and then you can uh, detach this here by just by pulling it to the side. Okay, so now there's one more piece that we have to remove and that is on the very bottom. So we have to turn this, this assembly upside down and you see here this blue piece. So we're going to uh, also re remove that by uh, turning it counterclockwise. And now at this point we have just enough clearance to take here this white assembly piece out. And when you take a close look at the side here, then you're going to see this blue little piece here, plastic piece, and that has numbers next to it. There, there's a, a 16 on the left side and the 19 on the right side. And on that little blue ring here, there's an arrow. So the, either the arrow points to the right or points to the left. So. Uh, I don't know what the 16 and 19 necessarily stand for. Maybe it's the how many inches the water level rises. Uh, but one of them, the one 16 is for the 1.28 gallon flush and the 19 is for the 1.6 gallon flush. So that's, this is how easy you can adjust the flush volume. And you only have these two options here. And uh, yeah, once you've set it to the setting that you're looking for, then uh, we can start reassembling everything again. I'm not going to go through all the single steps for the reassembly since uh, it's literally just everything from the disassembly just backwards. Uh, just one more uh, word here. If you do have this gray bracket and you do have a trouble with reinstalling this, then uh, I'm going to have here a different video that explains exactly how to take care of that plastic piece and uh, yeah so other than that don't forget to turn on the uh, valve valve again so the tank is going to fill with water and uh, yeah then just put the uh, actuator plate back on and you're all set i hope this video was helpful if you have any more questions or comments please leave a message below and don't forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm.